So hello everyone, good morning, welcome to my kind of quick review here of Seven Days Episode 8, much to talk about really. The best thing in the episode was definitely the last second, right? Which is that she knew Ares don't like that Finnish cap screen of Wrath in his version or her version of the classic, uh, you know, <laughs> to she knew America. I was like, yes, that should have been the whole episode. That would be much better. If she knew L, if she knew L was writing this anime, man, it would be so much extra. That, that Then it would be way better. It would be way more disturbing, but also, I mean, in, in a probably good way. I, I, I'm sure she knew L. But also make it more funny, like more comedic, you know, because the anime lacks comedy, right? Sometimes. Sometimes it's funny, it has two episodes really funny, and then blah, blah, kind of meh, and the jokes kind of fell really flat, right? This anime. She never would do that, so, um, yeah, and she never would like, take it more. She never be better person, yeah, definitely. Anyway, that's about it. No, no, but it's like, <laughs> the thing in the episode is that, I was thinking about it while I do it like as well, it's like, Man, this is a full fighting episode, and I felt it before I watched it as well. It's like this looks like full fighting because it's bringing a rat. It's really good that they're not going this sexual path with rat versus Lucifer, though. That is great. Lucifer versus rat was okay, decent. And we see, uh, you know, Levy and rat and so on, so well, and and, so that. and Belzebub helping them because reasons, even though she's doing with hell, whatever. Um, the problem is that the battles are so kind of mad, right? And I think there's seven reasons behind it. The first main reason. Why you don't really care is because they don't know the power at all, right? Like this is a weird anime setup because they never talked about the physical strengths or something, or like the magical powers or the limit or the like, exhaustion rate. Like, you see what I mean? It's just that they have in, in, in endless resource, right? It's like they have, you know, int mana and you can use summon stuff endlessly, you, yeah, for example, right? And it's like never been explained. So when, when they're fighting each other, there's so little, you know, you feel so little tension to it, right? First of all, you know that Lucifer is going to win right away, right? Because it's so obvious what's happening in the, in the kind of the main plot. But even with that, the problem is that you don't really kind of relate to how she's strong and how she's struggling. So normally, if you watch an anime or a TV show or a movie, whatever, right? You will see that, yeah, this character is struggling now, but she has to face this strong guy. For example, if you look at Star Wars 7, uh, Force Awakens, and... We, we, you know, the last fight there, so spoiler here, but I'm just fuck you guys. <laughs> I was like, spoiler that. So we have, you know, Kylo Ren versus Rey, right? And yeah, we have, so like Kylo Ren is very defined. He can stop, you know, light shots, he can do this, he can probe people, he has a lot of this Jedi, you know, and Sith abilities, and, and then so on, right? So her fighting him with the first time using a lightsaber, she has to at least have somewhat of a struggle. Right, so, so because he's a defined enemy, he's not, he's not 100% defined, but he's somewhat defined, for example. So, you know, when she's like, yeah, I have to block this thing. And of course, generally in, in Star Wars, we are, he is very defined what the Jedi's can do and so on. So it's very defined their powers, you, kind of how you know easily you die from a lightsaber, so to speak, and so on, right? So the power limits and the human body and so on, it's kind of like, it's very, very close here. So that's why you see feel some tension. But he's like trying to uh, attack her, and he's like, yeah, she hits, she will lose an eye or something. That's kind of in, in, back in your mind, right? You, you know that, okay, but if she's hit now, she will lose an arm or leg or something. It's like Luke lost an arm, right? So you know that even the heroes, she doesn't do that, I think it's bad. There's another story about it, like, she should, should, should have so more injuries if that's me. Not that there's an arm, but you're gonna point for that. that. That's why Luke is a better character, because he has a strike and actually sort of losing his struggles. But anyway, it's another story. But mainly, at least, we have it very defined here, so even if. Kylo Ren also ha only has like one movie on him there. His whole like power set is very very defined. It's from the, all the movie games, you know, comics and so on and so forth. It's sort of changing, but it's still like we know how much a blade does to your face with like, a lightsaber. But when you watch this anime, it's like, okay, so the military is suddenly there, the navy, uh, it's, it's supposed to be like a US navy, I guess, and they're shooting at, at Lucifer, and she's like, yeah, I'm just flying here, and the bullet is flying off me. It's like, so she has like the Superman skin thing, right? So it doesn't even do the Wonder Man thing if you look at the Wonder Movie, the classic Wonder Woman is just this thing, right? The classic block it with her armlets. She just like flies through the bullets and it's like a bullet. It's, it's kind of cute. It's like a bullet hell scene. It's like flying through means of bullets. And we see her pets all the time. So it's like bullet hell with fan service. It was kind of funny. It's like slices up uh, like, you know, boats and airplanes and nothing like butter. So it's kind of funny. So what? But it's about a battle. It's really is like, yeah, we have no understanding what a bull does to Lucifer because she's never been shot before. And apparently it does nothing. <laughs> right? So there's no tension in the battle because it's like, yeah, they should bullet her. This is like, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't affect me, right? And she gets like two bangs in her face. She's like, yeah, I lost consciousness for like, I don't know, like 
one milli, mi, mini stun, you know, for less than a second or something. So it's very large. Yeah, you, you really feel that there's no progression, right? Or like whatever. She has, she has, she's not starting in the bottom and fighting her upright. And yeah, and you know, it's like there's no epic impact on it because you see that, oh, here's the army. They're going to fight her. Like, Navy's going to fight her now. And it's like, okay, but what does, what does that mean? There's no context in this anime. What does it mean for Lucifer to fight the Navy? Apparently nothing pretty much, right? And that's kind of what you can imagine, yeah, what it said to me, right? And then we get to the moon, and you're also like, you, know, you have very little defined how strong Wrath is in the same similar way. She's stronger than Levy, but Levy is like, she's like bottom tier, right? Levy loses everyone all the time, like, lost to like lust and stuff. <laughs> yeah, at the beach too, yeah, so Levy is like bottom tier. Um, that doesn't mean much either. So it's like it's bad, and then fly up in the sky, and they have no strategy, right? They have no strategy, you don't know, no depth. It's just, just like, yeah, I'm just gonna like shoot, like I do, and hit you with the spear, and that's it, right? So, so it's like, and that's a big problem with anime. They could have built it up way better. Honestly, they could be so much easier to build up here. You just talk about that earlier, or rats, you know, well, it's kind of weird too because we see that. And Bilal is like, oh, I can't believe she lost to, uh, you know, Wrath didn't win because Wrath is the best fighter and so on. That is implied, but it's actually never said by Bilal, but it's very, very implied though. But that could have been so much more better than built up in the first minutes there. So you could be like, okay, Wrath, it's your time to fight. You're the best fighter we have. You're the best. You have the highest physical strength. And you have this and this and this and crap. Those are your powers. Like, she took your girlfriend, Bassaboom. Go and go and fuck her up. That, that would be way better. She's like... Go and fuck her up. It's like, build it up for a second at least. So we know that the main character, Lucifer, that has to fight you later on, has to overcome your strength on. It's like, ah, whatever, she's like, beats her. <laughs> right? It's like, okay, I removed your commandments, you're stronger now. And then you, and then you, and then, and then a bit, and then you lost it away. It's just, uh, such a weird bath in his hands, right? It's like, it's like, it feels like anything could happen at any moment. It's like, Levy, oh, suddenly they are summoning a bunch of, like, whales again. I was like, wait, what? And also, I think that was pretty stupid too. I didn't, I didn't really like it because, like, she can control water. Why wouldn't she, like, you know, drown? She by sucking them down, get some water, hands out there, drown them. No, no, I summon these whales to bite them. <laughs> and then I do this, like, maidstrom up in the air afterwards. I was like, what? That's really bad. Like, if I control water, I would be way better using that power. Like, that's a stupid way of using your powers. Really stupid. Um, Right, so that, that's about that's about the episode's kind of main thing, right? Uh, so the main important of course is Maria knows that Bella has her heart, and Bella promises to give her heart back if she helps her. That's like, yeah, like why would she believe you over you know, Lucifer? They're probably equally, you know, devil for you, right? Or I guess Lucifer is better for you, so why would she trust her over her? So what? Right? That makes no sense, really. Hopefully she won't. She was tricked by, you know. Uh, um, slut for the yeah, whole episode, uh, which was my earrings, so she's very telling at Maria in the sense. It's quite gullible, uh, and yeah, so yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that part was good though, when Rat is jealous on uh, Lucifer and uh, and Bessabub, and Levi is like, I know what you feel, you're jealous, and I know that feeling. That, that was really good there. But uh, that's also so weirdly, so weirdly built up there, because they've never seen them before together. Right in the anime, remember some extra material there, but we've never seen them actually in the anime. So it's zero, like, like you were last episode, you wouldn't imagine it to happen. So it's just like a curveball tornado. Actually, they're like lovers, so no, she's pissed off. It's like, what? <laughs> right, kind of. So weird, weird episode. It was much better than last week, but that doesn't say much. Uh, it's still a weird battle. And it's fit this anime, the best anime is always kind of iffy. Um, I mean, it was good. It was really good. It wasn't like, oh, I'm going to do it with my laser beam that removes panty or something. That, that was good. Like, they didn't do the sheep tricks with sex and so on. That was really good. So I liked it a lot more than I liked episode like four, for example, where, you know, mom and it's like, oh, I throw this like acid at you. It only burns clothes and skin, maybe if you're weak. It's like, what? <laughs> well, the hot spring fight. Like, yeah. But, but generally, it's, um, I think the anime has a big problem. Right? They don't have anything. They're not building up the character at all. So you wouldn't really care about them, um, them fighting, right? You don't understand. It's like there is no, there is no struggle, and you don't understand why she will win or how she even won. To be honest, like she, she was gonna win obviously by story progression, but it, so I didn't, so I was like surprised. But they actually, they kind of just like did this thing. That's like you died, you know. Like there's no, 
implication of how she actually beat her. She just had more, I don't know, willpower or something, right? And that that is really, really weak. So, anyways, I think it was like a pff, five or ten episodes or something. Much better than last week. But it has no comedy in I don't know. And I think that the end of it really shows you how it's kind of this weird fighting, right? Anyway, see you next week and have a great day.